Hey everybody, Rojo here, just uh, doing one little extra bonus video for Clive Barker's Undying here before I put the series to a close. Um, we, uh, we missed a, a lot of secrets. <laughs> uh, we missed all the secrets, if I'm being uh, honest. Uh, so, yeah, I, uh, I was looking at a, a little game FAQs document, which I'll, I'll put a link to, uh, that uh, lists what they are, as well as uh, like all the cheat codes and stuff like that. Uh, I had to rebind all my keys to... <laughs> To get the console to open, uh, for whatever reason, I don't know, I probably just messed something up when I was rebinding, but, uh, if we hit tab, we can open this up. And, uh, the first one, uh, we're not gonna go through all the cheat codes or anything, but, uh, we'll at least try to get the secrets to work, but, uh, first thing is, uh, if we do show FPS, we can actually see that we can get an FPS counter in this game, which, uh, traditionally is not easy to do in glide mode, so this actually might be more interesting for people who are trying to, like, benchmark old graphics cards and stuff like that. Uh, particular, particularly if uh, they want to do it on a Voodoo. Um, as you recall, we're using the, the Voodoo 5 5000, which is essentially the, the 5500 with the half the RAM. Um, we're running at basically max details at 800 by 600 here. I know. Little shit. <laughs> um, yeah, so... Uh, uh, just, uh, wanted to share that. Uh, the other thing is the God Mode sheet is A. Actually, it might be, uh, capital. No, I guess it doesn't. Maybe it doesn't matter. If we do that, I don't know, maybe... Oh my god, I didn't realize we could step on these! <laughs> you learn something new. Is that because we're in God Mode? I don't know, but I'm pretty sure it's on. Yeah, so I don't know, I found a couple more that might be interesting. One is, uh... <laughs> rain dance, we can just make it rain. Presumably inside as well, and then also... We can, uh... Clear the weather up like that. And then, uh... We can also do... Uh... Become light one. Probably a little bit hard to see. <laughs> but, uh, it makes, uh, it's supposed to make a big light. Actually, it's probably easier to see if we, uh, if we go over here. This corner is traditionally really dark. Yeah, you can kind of see, like, we're not lit, but we can see the environment, which is, uh, <laughs> kind of would have been handy. So, uh, yeah, there's that in there. You, go. you can see the difference now. Normally, we'd have to use the scry spell to see in there. Well, that's not what I expected. <laughs> Thought that would be the entrance to the manor, but uh, I guess not. All right, so here we are. This is the very beginning of the game. Um, right after we see Aaron for the first time, and we're going to go talk to um, Jeremiah. Come over here. Use the old pistol. There's like these two blocks up here. If we shoot them... Can also just grab that, I think. But I, uh, if we shoot them, look at that. They like go in, and then uh, this opens up. I guess we got we gotta, we gotta actually get in there though. Oh no, a limited time thing. Uh, that's fine. We can just reload like so. Not a problem. And in here we have. A little shooting gallery, which is kind of cute. Where we got to shoot these uh, these bats. As far as I can tell, it is not easy, man. Oh, I got him. I did get him. They're all going to go, like, in the same spot. Could potentially do this a little easier. Guys out of here. And... Oh! Got him. I need ammo, I think. To, oh no, they gave me some ammo. Okay, we're good. Alright, wave two. I think there's ten waves of this. So I guess, yeah, there's no reason that you can't, like, get closer. <laughs> That's what this whole thing is for. We could even cheat a little bit and use the astral cheat to 
fly right up to him, I bet. They're probably going to start coming from every freaking which way before long. There we go. Let's grab a little bit more ammo there. Good stuff. And I think maybe one more. Forget what the default key is to re reload. Might be like control or something. No, let's jump. <laughs> okay. No, uh, no, that's not what I want. Crouch. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what it is. Well, it's easy enough from this direction, though, I guess. One more. It's a little bit slow. There we go, wave complete. Wave three. Probably going to come from the middle over there, I guess. Oh, no. They're coming from... There's that guy there, and then there's this little, little shit there. Ah, reload faster! Oh, we got him. Okay. There's another one. There's another one coming down. This is, uh, I gotta be honest, it's not gripping. <laughs> but I am glad we get to see it. Got him. Only barely. Oh, come on. Got him. I don't know what happens if we, like, fail one. I don't know if we just lose or what. Okay, these guys are awfully hard to see at this resolution. Okay. Please die. Please die. <laughs> okay. Uh, hang on. What is the uh, the weapon action? Alt or caps lock? Okay, where they're coming from? This side. I don't know if I should be using all this ammo. Probably not. That's dude. This is too many guys. Come on. I'm not gonna try to finish this. Game over, try again. No, thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. Um, but yeah, there you go. There's a shooting gallery. You can access it yourself and give it a try if you want. Uh, but no, that's, that's going to test my nerves when they're like that small of a target. Whoop. I guess we... Oh, I see. It just teleported us back here. All right. Well, anyway, let's um, see if we can get this next secret to work. Do one of these. We got to go open man or... Entrance hall from Kitch. This will just load us right into here. All right, what are we doing? Three paintings to your left. Yep. <gasps> Aha! Lovely day, isn't it? Go away! Oh, I thought you'd be taller. Leave me alone! <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> okay, sure. Does we get more? Nope, I think that's all you get. <laughs> okay, well, uh... On to the uh, next one. Just looking over here, see what we gotta do. So we gotta open up Monastery Present Cove. We need to enable God mode for some of these, we'll see. 
I do have the game on easy, uh, which should help. Um, so what do we got to do here? Got to run to the barn and jump over to the ruined building. Okay, so give me a minute. Let's 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 uh, get crack in here and try this, I guess. At least to uh, activate God mode, we can also um, give ourselves some ammo, I guess. If you really want to, or give us uh, like other guns, all that kind of thing. Uh, we can also try. I don't know how well this will work, but let's save. Come over here. It's a little bit too fast. Yeah, we are invincible, so... Hmm, doesn't seem to work. Maybe I got the wrong code here. I thought it was Gibbon. Um, maybe these guys... Maybe these guys can't, can't be Gib. That's possible. Is there anything else we can use to kill them? Uh... <laughs> well, there's this. Okay. I mean, that's cool. Uh, I also just noticed this cheat code. <laughs> this makes a... Makes uh, the donkey appear, uh, you know, ass right in your face. That's, uh, that's nice. That's lovely. Anyway, let's move on. Maybe, maybe we can get this guy. <laughs> there you go. Oop, there it is. I think if, we, if you beat the, the gallery... Early that you get uh, or that shooting gallery that we failed, uh, you get a weapon out of it. I think earlier than you otherwise would. I I don't uh, recall much more beyond that. All right, so come over this way, and then there should be a ladder. Ah, uh, yeah, here it is. Just jump up to here. Deal with that guy. And then, so we jump over to the ruined building. And then we gotta go up the stairs to the second floor here. You go here. There it is. <laughs> Uh, yep. That's a big old dang old giant sheep. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> He, uh, he is killable. I wasn't sure if we were doing any damage. Funny thing is, I think we can, uh, <laughs> there we go. And then I think there's, uh, one other thing we could try. Let's try like this. You can uh, remove body parts by a console command. All right, here we go. Open Oniros Howling Well. Oh, jeez. <laughs> uh. All right, now I, this is a uh, we got to fly for this one. Thank you for you. Oh no, we already had flight. Yeah. All right, that's fine, I guess. All right, so uh, from here, behind the purple barrier is a square button. Huh. 
Aha, there it is. We gotta push the button and then fly up onto the roof. All right, so we're up here. We gotta look for. We're looking for purple haze. It may not quite be on this level. It might be above us a bit. I don't think I found that button in the original playthrough. That would be like the one thing that I would have thought maybe I would find. But I don't. See, oh no, there it is, right there. Yeah, I may not have found that, but I do. I did use scry quite a bit just for <laughs> lighting purposes. All right, so. Here we go. I don't know what to say, man. <laughs> uh, well, that's, uh, that's, I guess that's the, uh, that was the disco of death as it's described here in uh, the walkthrough. I think that's certainly appropriate. All right, last one. Uh, let's see. Uh, open manor entrance hall. Night. Return from Hove. Okay. So, all we're going to do is open this and follow the maid. Oh, good, you've returned. Jeremiah has been asking for you. He is waiting in the Great Hall. Are you alone here? Leave me be. Please, sir, I'm not that kind of girl. Mercy. <laughs> this seems wildly inappropriate. <laughs> <gasps> I guess that's it. Oh, uh, what a way to go out. Uh, well, uh, that's, uh, that's what I got for some secrets and some other stuff. I don't know. I'll have to probably cut this together a little bit to make it a bit less, uh, messy. But, uh, anyway, yeah, thanks for, for watching the, uh, the series and I'll see ya in the next one.